Let's learn how to play a random sound in Unity. Say you want to have a sound effect for something in your game, but you don't want it to be the same sound effect over and over and over again. You want a little variation. So I have these three mallet sounds that I want to use in my game, so I'll show you how to randomly select one of these and play it. The first thing that I've done is that I've actually loaded the clips that I want to play, but the other thing that we are going to need is an empty game object to house our logic and also to house our clips. So I'm going to create a new empty game object and name it something like audio manager. But before we write any code on this object, we have to have one thing to make this work, and that is an audio source. Without an audio source, this will not work. The name is slightly misleading, but the audio source is the thing that controls what sound gets played. It's kind of like the equivalent of the record player for the record. You can have the record, you can have all of the records that you want, but if you do not have the record player, you're not going to hear anything. Now for the actual script. Let's create a new script and attach it to our object. I'm just going to name this random sound player. I can go ahead and delete the start method because I won't have any logic tied to starting the game, but I will need a reference to the audio source I just added on the object so I can add my clips in there and manipulate it how I want to. So I'm going to create a new public variable with the type of audio source and I'm going to name it audio source with a lowercase a just to keep it consistent. But of course, I will also need to add in the actual clips that I want played. So I'm going to create a new variable with a type of audio clip. And since we want to play multiple sounds with this, this has to be an array. To do that, we'll just add a couple of little brackets here right next to the data type. Now we have our references set up, but we need one more variable. And that variable is to hold a space for the actual clip that will be randomly played. So I'm just going to give it a type of audio clip and name it active sound. Now I can actually write the logic. To keep it simple, I'm just going to say when I hit the space bar to play a random sound. Because I'm checking for input, I'm going to put it inside of the update method, which checks every frame. So I'm just going to say if input dot get key down and then key code dot space, if that is true, then execute the following logic. Now we can set the active sound to be a random sound from the array of sounds that we have. So we can say active sound is equal to, and we're going to pull our array. So we're going to say my sounds, and then in the brackets, we're going to say random dot range. To have a random sound play, we need to give it a range. So we're going to say play a sound between index 0, the start of the array, and the end of the array, however long it may be, and we'll just say my sounds dot length, and that captures the end of the array. So we can have three sounds loaded in my case, or we can have a hundred sounds loaded, but it will play a random clip between the first and the last sound. But now all we have done is set up our logic. We haven't actually gotten the script to play the sound yet. So now we need to take our active sound and put it through our audio source. So we're going to say audio source dot play one shot and then we are going to pass in our variable of active sound. All right, let's save that and go back on over to Unity. So now we actually need to plug in the real elements that we have here. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop my sound clips into my array. And then I actually need to connect the audio source that's already on the object and place it into this slot. So now everything is hooked up and ready to go. I'm going to hit the play button and start pressing the space bar. And you can hear that the sounds are all playing randomly. 